Hello, my name is Sebastian Vallejo, and this tutorial will be about a man-in-the-middle attack and how to perform it. This tutorial is for my ethical hacking course with Dr. Ponce at Florida International University. In this tutorial, I will be doing a man-in-the-middle attack using Addercap and Driftnet. With a man in the middle attack is essentially when the attacker intercepts the information that the victim is sending to the router or the router is sending it to the victim. To begin with, you have to have uh, Kali Linux installed either through a virtual machine or through your USB. I personally have it through my USB because with the virtual machine there were issues where my Wi-Fi would not connect so it would always say it was wired connection so here I, you can see I have it set up to the Wi-Fi to begin with you're gonna have to open the terminal once you have Kali Linux installed and here we're gonna have to type leaf pad space slash etc slash adder cap slash adder dot com this will open a file just like this one where it shows you basically everything what you're gonna have to do is change the UID and the GID so you can see it's set up to 65,534 so we're gonna set it to zero Now, you can either look through the whole file looking for the IP tables, or you can do a quick search with Control F, or just go into the tab and put find, and then type IP tables. And here you got, if you use the IP tables, you're gonna have to uncomment this. So you just take out the pound sign, and next you go to file, save, and then quit or when you quit it'll automatically tell you if you want to save the changes so the next step is to launch the editor cap and the G is for the, the graphical user interface you can also do it through the terminal so here you see the GUI of editor cap and next thing we're going to do is go to the sniff tab and click unified sniffing here it would ask you tell you what in network interface you are using as i mentioned before i am using the wireless so it's going to be wlan and if you're going to use uh directly connected to ethernet it will show you eth0 so once you have that set up, just click OK. And here we started. Now you can start. Now you go to host and you can start scanning for your host. What this does is pretty much it scans your, your net mask. And as you can see, I have found seven hosts are in my net mask. So in order to view those hosts, you can just go to hosts, host list. And as you can see, I have now found all these IP addresses belonging to devices and their MAC, their respective MAC address. The ones that end in 1.1 is usually going to be your default gateway. So that is what we're interested in because we need to intercept from the gateway to the victim. So the gateway, the gateway would be add it to the target one and then you can if you if you're trying to find your your windows machine you can just put ip config in there in the terminal in windows and it'll give you the ip address you can find it or what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my phone and look for the ip address go to settings then go to connections 
go to your Wi-Fi, select your network, and then it's going to show you your IP address on your phone. So mine's is 192.168.1.109. I'll select that to target two. That's who you're going to at your actual victim. And if you want to view this in a in a screen like this, just go to targets, current targets, it lists the targets that you have on. As you can see, you have target one as your gateway, as my gateway, and target two as my phone. You can select to delete it, the, or then you can tip, type in the IP address if you want, or you can just go back to the host list and add it back to target one. And as you see, you still have your target one and target two. Now for the next part, what you're going to do is go to MITM, and here you're going to start the ARP poisoning. So what this essentially does, it's going to send ARP requests, and it's going to send so many that you're that by that you're going to end up. It's going to end up sending the attacker the information that the victim is sending to to the router because it <coughs> because now with this you're intercepting their their information so you got to put sniff remote connections don't poison one way because poisoning we want to poison both ways the attacker and the router that's why you got to put sniff remote connections and then select okay so here it shows you are poisoning the victims and so yeah now they're being poisoned so then you just go to start start sniffing okay unified sniffing already started so now what you're going to want to do is go back to your terminal open a new one because you can't cancel this if you cancel this you will lose your you're not going to be art poisoning anymore and this will not work so click new tab or new window, whatever you prefer. And here we would launch Driftnet. Driftnet is a tool that lets you capture images that the person is viewing on their phone. Since you're already getting all the data with Net EdderCap, this will allow you to just get all the images the only thing is you will only be able to see the HTTP. You will not be able to see HTTPS. There are ways to strip out the HTTPS from a, from a website using such as such as SSL, SSL strip. But that's for another tutorial. And with that with today's security, the browsers will tell them that the website is not HTTPS secure, so they can refuse to enter it, but if they do decide to enter it, such as yourself, because you're testing this, you can test it, and you will see that once you're in, you would be able to view the images even in a secure website once you strip off the HTTPS. So here you have launched DriftNet. I is for the interface. I'm using the the wireless, so that's why it's WLAN. You can use if you're doing if you're using Ethernet, just use ETH zero. Then select enter. Oh, I spelled mm, I've spelled Driftnet wrong. So WLAN zero. There you go. It's gonna pop out. This is waiting to capture images from my phone but I have not have yet to open my phone, my browser. So now I will open my browser and let me look for some HTTP websites. Here I just entered a HTTPS website and as you can see, it is showing that there is no secure connection and it's not allowing me to go in. And this is because they know something's going on with my network right now. 
that since I'm attack there's so much since I'm attack I'm doing an ARP spoof they can't verify they can't allow me to go in so let me go to another website that is not HTTPS and see if I can get Let me just use testfire.net to as an example. It's not picking up. Let me see. That's weird. Oh, there you go. I don't know why it was taking a while, but as you can see now, there's an image pop up that's from Testfire. And yeah, so there you captured an image from when I went to the web browser. And as you can see, you have your image there. And now you can pretty much test this on yourself, don't test this on anyone else, and have fun. Thank you.